Hi everyone, welcome to another Recovery College video recording. My name is Stella and I'm a peer trainer here at the Recovery College. Today our session will be focused on exploring the concept of recovery during the COVID-19 pandemic. By the end of this video, you'll have an overview of how the pandemic is impacting on people's mental well-being, some definitions of recovery, and what recovery means to you now at this point in time. If you want, grab a pen and some paper so you can make notes. How is the pandemic impacting on people's mental well-being? Well, this is a worrying time for everyone. If you experience mental health difficulties, you might find it even more challenging. The global pandemic caused by the COVID-19 outbreak has left most of us feeling vulnerable and out of control. It is vital to understand that you are not alone in this experience and that you are not the only person questioning everything and feeling lost. A pandemic is a traumatic event that can be compared to a devastating natural disaster, for example, a tsunami, in terms of the impact on mental health. Let's consider some examples of what this impact may be. One, fight, flight or freeze response may be triggered. As COVID-19 is perceived as a threat to survival, the brain and body reacts accordingly triggering a natural stress response to danger. This response causes hormonal and physiological changes that allow you to react quickly to protect yourself. Two, hypervigilance. A feeling of constantly being alert when going out or having to interact with others. Three, avoidance. Avoiding going out even when you need to. For example, avoiding going to the doctor unless it's related to COVID-19. Four, negative mood and thinking process. Being overwhelmed by negative thoughts, like feeling you should be doing more, or feeling guilty of not being able to cope. Five, overthinking the future. A fear that the world as we know it is about to change and the uncertainty about what it will become. For example, will we ever be able to travel abroad again? What will happen to the world's economy? Six, anticipatory anxiety. Fear that the near future will be dark or that we don't have any control over it. And finally, information overload. Spending more time than usual thinking about health and death during home quarantine due to the continuous daily information about COVID-19. If you are or have experienced any of the above or even other things, rest assured, it only means that you are human. Remember, recovery is possible for everyone. Now let's take a look at a couple of definitions of recovery. Firstly, it involves making sense of and finding meaning in what has happened, becoming an expert in your own self-care, building a new sense of self and purpose in life, discovering your own resourcefulness and possibilities, and using these and the resources available to you to pursue your aspirations and goals. Another way recovery is defined is, for many people, the concept of recovery is about staying in control of their life, despite experiencing a mental health problem. There is no single definition of the concept of recovery for people with mental health problems, but the guiding principle is hope, the belief that it is possible for someone to regain a meaningful life, despite serious mental illness. Bearing in mind the current events, it is important to take a moment to reflect about how the pandemic has impacted on your recovery journey. 
So what would recovery mean to you in this worrying time? Think about what has changed for you. About how those changes have affected your life, your identity, your understanding of the world, and your hopes and plans. Now that you have that information, can you define your recovery? You might like to pause this video to write down your answers and come back to it when you're ready. Remember, how you define it will be personal and unique to you. Before we finish today's video, I would like you to take a moment to think about what is important to you in this moment in time. It might be that you remember nice words someone once said to you that made you appreciate that person and you felt connected. Or maybe, if you look out through your window, you can see a tiny speck of sun ray shooting through the clouds. Maybe that will remind you that when things are not going well for you, hope is what you can hold on to. Take a look around you. What other things or people can give you that sense of hope? I would like to end this session with a quote from Thich Nhat Hanh. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. We have come to the end of this video. We've covered the topic of recovery and what it means to you in this worrying time. So hopefully, in your own time, you'll be able to reflect on your experience so far and how you and other people you rely on can support your recovery journey.